Hello, 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 and welcome to my latest video. It is a rainbow wave. Um, I know this is like the third one on the channel, but j j just get used to it. I like the rainbow palette. I like doing ocean waves. Y you're just gonna, th these are just gonna be a thing. So what I'm doing at the moment, because a lot of my paints are partially transparent, um, but I'm doing the painting in a different way. So the stripes are going to be vertical or horizontal, top to bottom anyway. Um, so I'm coming in to do the um, sides of the canvas, just finger painting them in, just so that when the paint goes over the side, if a bit doesn't go down, there's it's already got some colour there, so it will look better on the final, the final piece on whoever's wall it eventually hangs on, if it doesn't hang on mine. Um, so I've got a white base and a rainbow palette. I've kind of drawn in where I want the wave to go. I know it's kind of ridiculous that I've done that because once the white paint's gone on, you're not going to be able to see this bit, but it gives me a guide at least in my head for where things are going to go. Um... I was originally going to have um, a bit more blank space around, but I didn't. So it gave me a guide there. And also I had a guide on um, penned in for where the various colours are going to go, because this is the first time that I have done something quite like this. I haven't done the vertical stripe colours on a wave before. And honestly, I don't know why I haven't done it. It turns out so good. I love it. Um, so, yeah, that was the one of the purples going in. So this is the first of a two-part um, piece, because I'm doing, as I often do with the colours, the colours going one way, then them going the other. So having the purple on the left-hand side as you look at it, even though it's right hand side when from where you're painting, but it's upside down. Um, so I've got various shades of purple and a little bit of a brighter pink in there and then coming in with the blues. Um, and I'm doing this as multi-hued, so I've got multiple um, colours of blue, multiple purples, multiple greens. Um, yellow, I actually just have yellow and gold, because gold is kind of yellow-y. Um, because I don't, I didn't have multiple shades of yellow to hand. And, as you can see, I'm even going to try and get the cresting wave to be in those colour strips. Works to a greater or lesser extent on this one. Um, but also... I'm working on the bit where I'm not going to have yellow all the way round for the inside bit, because I'm going to have the various oranges. I say various oranges, just two shades of orange. Um, that's a cadmium light orange hue and a cadmium orange hue, I think. Um, and then for the final bit, the various shades of red. Um, and also what I'm, what I've got running through this piece is some silver when I get round to popping that on the canvas as well. At this point I'm, well, one, <sighs> stood there going, oh, my green is running down, so that's going to make an interesting, um, crest of the wave just a little bit and I'm also at this point thinking 
Man, there is a lot of paint on this canvas. For these type of pores, I do it every time. I use too much paint. I, every time I put more paint on and uh, and I, it feels like there's too much. Um, what I actually did with this was I had cups underneath the canvas as well. So when the paint came off, it was caught in a cup, so I've got some colours mixed up from it. So the what you can see there is the crest hadn't worked, paint had started heading towards the bottom of the, the bit where the main block of my colour was. So I came in with a wooden dowel, scraped the paint off of the piece and then used a paper towel to dry it so that I could come in and basically take that paint off and I left that bit of the canvas bare so the colour doesn't run and I managed to keep the main bit of the wave and the crest of the wave separate. So the ocean and the crest of the ocean wave. This is obviously an abstract piece because waves aren't, you don't get them in these colours. But I do love how the gradient on the rest of the paint really works. I love how I managed to, by and large, get the crest to be blue where it's blue, green where it's green. Um, I'm going through blending all of the gradients into each other, so the colours are mixing in. Um, and just seeing how I can get it to work, mixing the green into the yellow. The yellow has disappeared, so in a minute I'm going to come in and fix that. And this video did actually cut off part way through the fiddling, and I did do a lot of fiddling with the painting after parts of it had dried. I actually started to do one little bit, put a bit too much paint on, then it didn't make sense, then I had to put some more paint in, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, it's... Uh, this was a bit of an involved one, but the end piece looks really textured and amazing. Seriously, look at how the orange and the red are blending in together and the amazing colours that you're getting. Just love it. Love, love, love it. Um, and I love how you can't really see it on the camera, unfortunately, but the silver really makes the whole thing feel fluid. It feels like it is literally an abstract wave, that you can see the reflections, which is what the silver kind of does when I do these, or what it's intended to do, is to make it look like the wave is catching the light. So, as you can see, not enough yellow in that part. So I'm just using the wooden stretcher peg thing to scrape the colour off and then a paper towel to dry the canvas. If you ever get this in one of your paintings and it's not working, just use something to scrape the painting off, paint off, not all of it, just the bit that's not working, and then layer some more in. That it will not look the end result will look amazing. It won't look bad. Um, you just need to make sure you've got the colour that it's going to be blowing into to make the um, make it work properly in the end. So you can see I'm coming in with some more silver there all the way through just to um, get the effect that I wanted. And yeah, with this one I'm blending the green back into the yellow. But you can clearly see there is a distinct yellow stripe there 
and that yellow stripe is largely um, in that space where the wave is rising up into the air. Um, but I do, honestly, I love this design. I love how it's worked out. Um, I love that the silver in there really is working amazingly. Um, it was a bit of a faff to get some of it to work. And these paintings do take a long time to do. This is an hour and a half worth of recording, but sped up. Because I'm fairly sure you wouldn't want me wittering on for an hour and a half about it. I'm sure I could on the subject of this painting, but it would be a lot of, yeah, but, oh my gosh, I love this, blah, blah, blah. You get all of that, but in a condensed form on my videos. Um, the video is about to cut off, so I will thank you for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, head over to my social media to follow me there. And if there's a particular style you would like to see some more of, drop me a message and I'll see what I can do for you. Bye-bye!